Now we are up here at one of the Taliban's cars. I'm literally holding on to the gun here. How do they trust you? I don't know actually. <laughs> the thing, was that a woman? Uh, maybe a little girl. Like lots of it, the but he doesn't know the exact number. Mm. This is a bomb, you know? This is a bomb. Yeah. Whoa! Can we try? Yeah. And the Taliban, they shot him in his foot and took his car. So me and my guy here, Kausa Hussain, we just went uh, to the Taliban uh, to get the, the visa for Afghanistan. And everything went pretty smooth. And I Taliban even gave him the best uh, pistachio from Afghanistan. Yeah, and my guy just said, that this is very expensive, so they must like you. So I did something right, apparently. So I was, uh, so I was inside the consulate there, yeah. and I was uh, having tea with the Taliban and talking about Islam and Christianity and everything. So it was, yeah, I don't know what what I had expected, but they were like very friendly and uh, very. Very, very good people actually to talk to at least, so yeah. I wasn't allowed to film in there, but I got this picture though. The Taliban had a lot of questions, so I was in there for 40 minutes or something. In the end, he even offered me a place to stay for free and dinner. So actually right now, we are listening to music. And it's not legal here in Afghanistan. So when the Taliban is coming, we will turn it off, right? Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, it's kind of funny how it's how it can be illegal with music. But actually, if they only sing and there's no instruments, it's not it's not illegal. So uh, turn it off and they can sing. <laughs> they are playing volleyball here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Can you have one thing? Great. Great job! <laughs> Salam alaikum! How are you flying? Uh, yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, you're good. I saw you smashing oh, down. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, cool. It's okay to take some pictures? Yes, yes. Yeah, cool. I didn't expect to see the Taliban playing volleyball at this checkpoint. Going into every district in Afghanistan is very important to have approved papers saying you're allowed to cross. Here into the beautiful Bamyang. After the clearance photos and the video was taken. So the Taliban is apparently having a, a photo shoot. <laughs> That's quite funny. We asked them if they wanted to join us in our boat. You sure? Oh, we would like to. <laughs> Yeah, Ireland, England, and Denmark. Yeah. Come on. Now, David, yeah. he, he borrowed this uh, Taliban guy's gun. Yeah. <laughs> Try to shoot, David. <laughs> Try to see if you can hit Anwar. <laughs> Here, the Taliban is learning me how to hold the gun correctly. It wasn't exactly what we expected before we went there, but we were open minded and they were too. When we got back, the Taliban guy in the back with a hat and my guide had arranged an arm wrestling match with me in it apparently. I did not know. The Taliban guy did not like my tattoos and said if I lost against his friend, I needed to have them all cut off with a knife. And if his friend lost, he would cut his hair. So when his friend lost, he thought I was cheating. I can only imagine if I lost. In Taliban bodyguard. My Taliban bodyguard, which is mandatory here in the here in the Helmand area, to have a bodyguard from the Taliban, which is quite funny because I guess most people fear the Taliban, and uh, now I got one to protect me, which is which is quite funny. But they are very friendly. So, I'm just thinking about who, whom am I going to fear if it's not Taliban. So I have a bodyguard. So now actually the locals have joined me also here at the top. And they're very friendly, even though they're commenting my, my tattoos as always. <laughs> but it's not being unpleasant or anything, it's more become 
like something we are laughing at, at least they are. <laughs> but it's not unpleasant though, so it's it's okay. It's like yeah, it's like they're just curious actually, even though they're telling me it's a, it's a haram and stuff, but it's not in a bad way actually. You can see that they don't like it, but it's not it's not really that bad. And then they are very friendly afterwards again. <laughs> Just telling me, the, telling me basically that they don't like it, which is okay, because I'm in their country, and that's how things are here. But what I didn't know in the start was that it was not just locals; it was a group of Taliban who came here this Helmand Mountain to pray. It's like we need permission for everything. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys are gonna. Mister, can you bring your so he's basically saying that the Americans when they were here they disrespected the Pashtuns as well as the culture of the Pashtuns and now we will be like respecting Reliving the, 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 I mean, the respect, the, the value of the Pashto mm. culture. That's all of the foreigners. That's all of them. That's your Kisai Waka Chi, Pokemon, or Harjiji, or you study Arikawa. Come back for more. But I could have a lot of time about the name of the Kansper. He has killed like lots of enemies, no, but he doesn't know the, know the exact no. number. Okay. But uh, you know, he's talking about a uh, 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 event where he's killed uh, uh, like eight Americans in the same time. Yeah, when he don't know how many, but he can guess like eight Americans in a single tank. Because I guess it's not so much the shooting; it's more, and you know. Bomb and explosions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 You can tell him about your club partner, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a... Uh, um, what can you call it? I met... It's not a friend. I met someone in the training uh, where I lived, ways. Mm. And um, he heard from a person that I was traveling in Afghan to Afghanistan. I didn't know him. And then he was asking me um, if I was going to Afghanistan. And I said, yes, okay. okay. Then he told me that he hmm? had been here. In, uh, what's his car? As a as uh, yeah. yeah, so he he was just <laughs> <made something. laughs> the Taliban's praying. In Helmand province. This was really a strange feeling, but at the same time, an amazing experience, I need to admit. First of all, I'm totally alone, sitting talking about how they killed a lot of people and also got questioned out by a lot of armed Taliban while sharing grapes. And finally, I were here on the top of a mountain in Helmand, the most dangerous place in the whole of Afghanistan, which is considered the most dangerous country in the world. And now I'm here filming the really religious Taliban extremists from their most holy site, Unbelievable and something I will never forget.
I have been in many danger zones around the world. Afghanistan is actually not that bad, just as long as you follow the Taliban rules strictly and it's really not that hard. Afghanistan is so beautiful and full of adventures and actually in top three of my favorite countries I visit so far. Tonight I'm going to stay in this little village in Helmand and going to sleep inside here. So let's see how it looks like. Wow, so green here in the middle of the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a look inside here again. Well, we're probably going to sleep tonight. Now I actually just discovered, uh, I was told now, <laughs> I spent all the night and the day here yesterday, and now they suddenly tell me that there is an old American military base over here, which looks like bombed and looks like it's abandoned, but that's actually actually the Taliban's over there, and normally, especially in Kandahar and Helmand, and which we are now in uh, Helmand, uh, it's impossible to get in anywhere because they are very strict here with the uh, military things. But because these guys they live here, and uh, this man here, he actually uh, has been a teacher for some of the Taliban's, so we think he might can get us access to get in because he was teaching some of the Taliban's in school, so he knows yes. them. So he thinks he might can get us access to get in because they like him, uh, like him and know him. So that would be quite exciting, for, actually. This is the old American camp, which is just here. Okay, Okay. now we try to get over to the old American base here, which is now uh, ruled by the Taliban. Uh, but I can't take my video camera with me. They are afraid they might uh, being very angry here uh, to the local people and they will have a bad time so uh, I'll probably leave the leave the camera here because uh, of their safety also oops I brought it anyway I'm inside the camp here the old US camp they actually allowed me to get in uh, they're not so happy that I'm filming them but they said if I don't uh, post it like uh, or send it to the media and stuff they won't have any problems with it so we will be here for a short time. They're a little afraid that um, somebody from the government or something have something against it. But they, we got very friendly with them. Had a cup of tea over here, and uh, speaking about uh, yeah um, why I'm here, and I got a lot of questions, of course. And this is a man up here. He's mm. bomb. this is a bomb, you know. This is a bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Can we try? This is an IED. <laughs> yes, this is an IED. Yeah, yeah, this is an IED. Oh, if we go over there, can we try? If I give them okay, money? Okay, if you want to give them money, you can give them money. Yeah, yeah, they can frighten the people, you know. It's frightening the people. But if, maybe $50? <laughs> $50? Okay, just a little bit. What it's called ACD? IED. IED, yeah, right, that's right. Uh, like a, a bomb on the road, usually, yeah, right? Yeah, on the road. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Usually to, to get it, to blow off a car, you know, like a, a military tank or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Islam and the Jihad Come on, please. Yeah. It's not possible to bright them to, uh, to, to blow it up. Do you know how we know have permission? No, of, of course, of course, of course, no problem. It's fine. If you want me to explore more extreme things like this, please like the video. Very exciting with that bomb, actually. Oh, they live in. Yeah, I'll take my shoes off here, of respect. Yeah. 
took some uh, training as well, and uh, will start. Uh, uh, would, uh, would they would become available to give any sacrifice in order to yeah yeah, yeah to like uh, beat uh, and uh, fight uh, any foreign uh, foreign troops that were deployed in Afghanistan. Yeah. Was just in Helmand, as uh, this was a hot zone, you know the. Uh, stronghold uh, of uh, the Taliban, you know, uh, basically we can say the second birthplace of the Taliban, you know, yeah. That, uh, yeah. Cool. So, uh, yeah, they were trained like in this area, given the mindset, the, the mindset was given from such an area, and then uh, uh, were trained uh, like uh, uh, in such places, you know. Yeah. So today it's actually the victory day. So they have a they just announced and a, a national holiday because of the victory day against the Americans and the Allies. So today they have a holiday. So uh, I think today they are they're celebrating a lot and very happy. Maybe you can ask them. Ask them if they so, like. No, uh, there is Jonas. Uh, yeah. They can trust us even you. Mm-hmm. They can hand us the uh, the. The MP, gun. What's oh, no, 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 no. Is it empty? Empo. This is uh, the American gun. Empo. You know. Oh. Now they're handing us. Uh, you know, made in USA. Uh, the sign. Ah, you took the, it from them. Yeah, they've oh. taken it from the U.S. Uh, soldiers. Here. Uh, this is another one. Yeah, uh, they trust us with, even with the guns, you know? Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah. Even you can have it. If you yeah, want. yeah. So, you will, uh, uh, okay, so we're going to take yeah. it. It's loaded? Yeah. Uh, uh, so. Get a custody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they don't trust me that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's asking you to have the American, uh, the other one, the M4. You can try both, you know? Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, have yeah. a pose. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, is that it's I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Can we have a pose together? Wait, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. <laughs> this gun really nice. Ah, that is this. That's yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Jonas, what are they actually teaching you about the gun, and why the, are they asking you to hold and pose uh, to to have the gun in your hand? You know. Uh, I actually don't know the reason, but I think it's. Uh, because they trust me, actually. They trust me, yeah. Because otherwise, you know, I'm, I come from a foreign country and I could mm-hmm. actually shoot them all right now. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And it's a big sign of, uh, I mean, uh, trust, trust yeah. and as well as uh, uh, a signal to other foreigners to come to Afghanistan exactly. with, with no worries at all. You are right? Yeah. And they all had guns before, so they could also have killed me, right? Yeah, yeah. So they it's could. a signal to, to show that come here, we are peaceful. Yeah. Even though I don't think you can come here. We are getting, we have a yeah. special permits uh, yeah. because you know them. Yeah. Because these people with uh, I'm with here, they live very close yeah. to the village, so they know the Taliban is here. Mm. So they they trust them, and because uh, I'm drinking tea with them, and I slept here tonight in the village. Uh, and uh, do you think having the gun in your hand? It's gonna mm-hmm. cause you any problems when you are back in your country, don't you think? If your government is gonna blame you, like uh, being partner with the Taliban, you know, as a, in you, you <laughs> like you look like uh, Al Qaeda, you know, <laughs> having the scarf in your head. Uh, you know, I have all my tattoos and stuff. <laughs> uh, I think they know that I, I'm, I'm not, you know, I can't be uh, Islam that way. But you know, mm. um, and if they, you know, look me up or something. They know that I'm from a Christian family and mm. I have English friends and uh, mm. sort of the kind of things. Mm. But you know, I don't, I don't really mind what they're thinking because I do what I want. You know, mm. I'm not going to be a Muslim or anything. I just, you know, love to see how people are now. They are in different environments, and uh, yeah, I think uh, actually, if I show this to somebody, which I probably will, mm. there would be maybe so some old military like people from Denmark, which is not so happy. Mm, suspicions. And I, and I think the government, when if they if I show this to someone, mm. I think the government will know sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, I don't uh, mind. I don't mind. You, you will know? probably want to because post. I'm not, a, I'm not a terrorist. Or anything. I'm, I'm just documenting what's going on. Yeah, here. a traveler. Like, you can come here. They're friendly. Yeah, yeah. And just to have... give the picture, the image that uh, anybody is clear to come to Afghanistan. Uh, there's no worries, no such tension yeah, about no. safety, security. These guys are your guards, you know? Yeah, They're going to be with you as long as you're in Afghanistan, taking care of your security, safety and such things, right? Yeah, exactly. And also, I would, uh, I would tell... L- let's uh, take a walk with a gun yeah, and uh, be ahead. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And keep talking, yeah. Yeah. 
And I would like people to see, uh, you know, that I think they should maybe cooperate with the people here because they're not so bad. I think they should uh, modernize something with the girls and uh, actually then it will be most the same as the most Muslim countries, which they are also cooperating with. Uh, so I will hope for the people's sake, for the people, uh, I would hope that they will, um, I would hope that they will, uh, like, beginning to interact with the Taliban. Mm. Um, when they have, like, you know, when they make um, some agreements about the female situation. Mm. Uh, because I think there should be some, something and, uh, made uh, there. Yeah. But, and, but, yeah. but otherwise, yes, I think, uh, you know, it's like most other Muslim countries. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why and uh, by now, as you have uh, been being in interaction with the Taliban in the country and with the people, uh, do you think a Taliban are trustworthy to be like officially uh, uh, recognized by the international community? You know, uh, because it is causing like lots of troubles as the Taliban have not been officially yeah. recognized by the international community. It is yeah. causing like lots of uh, issues, economic uh, issues, and other problems. For the people in Afghanistan, you know, there are different types of people, all types of people, like for you know, middle class. I'm, I'm not like so much into all of the political things. I, I, I just know what I am reading and what I hear, what I see, hmm? and, and what I see and what I hear from the people here uh, is that uh, because they are, you know, they got killed up a lot of uh, our, our people. But even though, yeah, it's your one minute. No, no issue, no problem. No, never I thought mind. it was a suicide bomb or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I would really hope that for the people, uh, they are very poor here. Mm -hmm. So I would hope that they will try to uh, try to open more and uh, get in discussions with the Taliban. Mm -hmm. For uh, I know they're um, maybe not the best friends, but for the people's sakes, mm -hmm. for the people' cause here, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a bad thing because they are very poor here. And it will do a lot of uh, good things for for the local. Mm. And uh, yeah, how do you picture this place to your people uh, and to the people in the West? Like uh, it has been destroyed. Uh, who yeah. do can you, you might have so they can see it? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. this place have been destroyed in war. I mean, uh, as a result, uh, it's like it's just. Uh, uh, like a ruin now yeah so it's totally ruined now it's a ruin uh, but they I just talked with them and they say they will try to, to rebuild and then they will have a, maybe a larger camp here and uh, the camp here is just next to this village and this house where we actually stayed tonight and I didn't know that there was an American camp here um, but then they told me. We just had to, to leave very quick. The, uh, the Taliban compound over here, which was an American base. Um, because uh, these guys, these villagers guys, they said, okay, I, they don't think that we should stay any longer. Not because they were afraid of uh, those Taliban here, but there might come some others which not so happy and then everybody will be in trouble so the last five minutes they were telling me go 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 all the all the time and actually now the car is also ready so yeah so we will go go on now to Kandahar that's what happened with his arm last what is uh, he lost it uh, just because in a bomb explosion. In a bomb explosion. Oh, an IED, no? IED. Oh, from Taliban. That's what Taliban or Americano? American. Americans. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Yeah. 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 I can. Can I give him a little money? Is that okay? It's a dollar market. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is the Taliban regime's victory day. The day they celebrate the day when they defeated the Americans and the Allies, which is only two years ago. So only second time of this celebration. In Helmand and Kandahar area, they are the most conservative in Afghanistan. 
and it is also the Taliban's birthplace. And here as you can see they are supported a lot. It was also in these areas the most fight was fought under the war. Here's the parade already began. I just can't imagine what will happen later in the evening when the big celebration is on in Kandahar as well. So here is the gate into Helmand, right? And um, three weeks ago, there was two men who was caught, uh, that were captured. They had um, kidnapped a little child and killed him. And they were hanging the, um, the two kidnappers. Actually, the two kidnappers, they hanged them here from this. Uh, and they were there, they stayed there for three days. <laughs> they were hanging there for three days, so everybody could see. Enjoying the parade. We're here at the Taliban celebrations of the victory, the 15th. Hello. The 15th of August, the victory day when they defeated the, finally defeated the Americans and the Allies. And David and I, me and the, our. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get a car to get my friends in. Uh, I mean, Taliban's car to get them on it. Yeah. So our guide, he's very fresh, he's very cool. He says he's trying to get us on our car with the Taliban. Yeah. But if he doesn't, we do ourselves, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> we just jump out and see how it goes. Yeah. But we want the ones with the biggest guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the girls. <laughs> They're celebrating a lot here. We're just uh, walking in the middle of everything. <laughs> I told you, it's getting mixed Yeah, yeah. And crazy. But we're just literally walking on the street when everywhere, everyone is driving. Now we are up here at one of the Taliban's cars. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> I'm literally standing with the big gun here. And David is also with me. And our driver, no, our guy actually, he also jumped off the car. We literally stopped the car and asked if we could get up and they just waved us up. They waved us up and then we jumped into this car. It's actually a police car or something. Military police car, I don't know. David, are you with us? Yes, I'm with you. I'm literally holding on to the gun here, otherwise I would be falling out of this car. We guys are going to be the only people all the way out Yeah, I guess. I'm holding the big gun here. Look at here. Look wow. at this one. How do they trust you? I don't know actually. <laughs> I don't know why they trust me. But they, yeah. I think they can a little bit. <laughs> so as you're holding the gun, that means a lot of trust. Yeah, it means a lot of trust of them. Yeah, I know. We are up with this driver driving to the border and uh, he's actually a former governor of the Afghan military and the gov Afghan government um, while the US and the Allies were there and uh, the Taliban they shot him in his foot and took his car and uh, yeah he hates the Taliban and he hates Joe Biden for pulling out uh, his troops so yeah he's basically telling us a lot of uh, stories and uh, how he hates uh, the Taliban yeah 
I can imagine. But his two brothers, they were very lucky. They got on an, on an American plane and then they flee to to America. He just showed us some pictures of his brothers in America. And uh, he's happy about them being in America now at least. I'm really excited to have shown you this video from one of my most extreme and dangerous adventures. So let me hear what you think and write me a comment. I have to admit that my heart is pumping sometimes, but it's all worth it. Please like the video if you want to see more things like this. And if you're ready for more, the full Afghanistan video is out here, so just click on the link.